one and two. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I can't just be with you, I'm only you. I got one bitch, you got one, and that is the only two. Man, how many times have I shown it, boo? Man, how many nights I've been woke, swerving the pop holes, not trying to fuck up the wheels of the road, okay? Funny how life goes. He thought he was sick, now we wiping his nose, okay? Soon as you give him your soul, you blow up and they say you're selling your soul, okay? They want my life to go, they want to know about the highs and lows. Well, come on. All I did was rest, okay? And we just all I did was stretch, okay? And Valentine's Day, I had sex, okay? We'll see what's about to happen next, okay? Okay. Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. I, for some reason, have a lot of energy today. I think it's because I got such a good long sleep last night. Like, I went to bed at 9, 10, and then I slept in until 5, 30. So that's, like, a little bit over eight hours, which is amazing. On the weekend, I feel like it helps, and it's so important to really motivate yourself, especially on Sunday when you know the week is awaiting. Feed yourself with that motivation. Watch YouTube videos that motivate you. Read a book that motivates you. Listen to a podcast that motivates you. Like, whatever you get your motivation from do that because it's so important to start the week on a good note and not like going into the week dreading it and so that's what i did yesterday on sunday i kind of just like watched a bunch of like youtube videos my favorite youtubers that like inspire me and motivate me and read some of my book and it just puts me in like a good headspace to start the week rather than a negative one and rather than me like dreading it like oh i have to work out this week it's only monday blah 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 you know what i mean monday is something that we should be looking forward to not dreading and i know that's a hard thing to wrap your head around because it's monday and everybody hates mondays but i mean they're not that bad like it's a fresh start to the week like if you think about the positive sides of it it's kind of good anyways i have a 7 a.m workout class today it's about like 6 45 now so i'm gonna head in soon get my sweat on monday workouts are always like the hardest because i have been on my ass all weekend and monday workouts really just whip you in the butt but you always just feel so good after a monday workout so i'm wearing my cute pink leggings today and then my cozy fall sweater that i thrifted i just feel so cozy right now but anyways let's go work out So for breakfast, I'm just making some sweet potatoes and I'm going to put poached eggs on top with avocado and it's going to be so good. But basically to season these, I just put olive oil, paprika, garlic powder, and salt. And I just cut this potato into little cubes and now I'm going to pop them in the air fryer at 400 for 15 minutes and then kind of shake them up and then another 15 minutes and they cook perfectly. Let's pop them in the air fryer. While the potatoes are in the air fryer, I just blended up my homemade creamer. If you guys want the recipe to this, it's it's in my last vlog, so go watch that, and I'll link it down below. I'm just gonna strain it now, and then we have our homemade creamer. So here's how the breakfast bowl turned out. The avocado is not really good, but it'll taste fine. Just made myself a coffee. I'm gonna enjoy it while watching some YouTube just for a peaceful, quiet moment before I start my day. But I've been only having coffee after I eat because if I have it on an empty stomach, it just does not sit well with me. 
and also it really can disrupt your hormones if you have coffee on an empty stomach so if you guys are having like any gut issues or anything i would suggest having your coffee after you have a meal just because i know it digests a lot better that way it's a lot better for your home hormones as well so anyways this looks so cozy and good and i'm just gonna chill and drink my coffee now <laughs> I just blowed out my hair it literally took me like 10 minutes to do and i haven't done like a straight blowout in a long time because i've been going for more curls recently but i kind of missed a little straight blowout moment i feel like a straight blowout is just me like when i have this hair i just feel most like myself just because it goes back years and years where this is like my daily kind of me hairstyle you know what i mean today i'm rocking the no makeup i'm gonna be home today and i'm gonna be doing some cleaning organizing so on days that i just like want to look presentable but i'm home what i do is i kind of just like brush up my eyebrows and then i just put a little bit of lip liner on and that's about it i just do skincare lip liner and then like fix my eyebrows curl my eyelashes and then that's about it that's my little fake makeup look but it just makes me feel more presentable rather than just like doing nothing you know it's kind of like a gloomy ish day today it's not raining but it's like cloudy i'm here for it i don't mind at all it's kind of cozy and since i'm gonna be home all day anyways it's kind of nice i've been making sure to stay hydrated every single day so i've been having like two or three of these every day because since i do infrared heated workouts i'm like sweating a lot and losing a lot of hydration so it's like so important to keep myself hydrated but you guys every single year like around this time of year i lose so much hair my hair is everywhere my hair is on the bathroom floor it's on the couch joel emptied the vacuum he had a hairball about this big it's in the shower drain it's everywhere like you can't get away from it i searched it up because it happens to me every single year around this time and there's such thing as seasonal hair loss so like you shed certain times of the year and apparently summer to fall is like the most common one and that's exactly when i'm shedding which is hilarious because this happens to me every year and i get concerned i'm like why is my hair falling out but it's just normal it happens to me every year it's kind of funny but it's so annoying because my hair is everywhere and i don't actually like really notice a difference in like the thickness of my hair but it's just everywhere but i mean out with the old and with the new i feel like a dog shedding i have like very thick hair so i normally shed a lot as it is on just like a normal basis but this time of year i am just like literally pulling out hair all the time girls be girls but it's okay because it doesn't usually doesn't last like very long like maybe a month but i don't know if i showed you guys but i added my clothing rack to this room just because it was in the garage and i've been like trying to clear out the garage but what i'm gonna do right now is put in a load of laundry because i have made mondays my laundry day since i noticed that like when i stay on top of my laundry it's really not that difficult to do because i used to leave my laundry for like a month honestly and then i'd be like oh my god like i have so much laundry but no it's because i just left it sitting for a month so i've been trying to make mondays my laundry day so every monday i've been doing my laundry which has been like super helpful because my laundry bin doesn't overflow and so i'm gonna do laundry and then i'm going to just like look over my computer kind of plan out my week what i have to do in my agenda my room right now is actually really clean because i kind of cleaned it yesterday so it's kind of organized and cute and clean so i'm happy about it but let's do some laundry <laughs> Here's my desktop right now. I want to change it to make it fall themed just to get more ready for fall and get inspired. And then I'm also going to plan out my week and just like look at everything that I have to do. Cause I kind of work between two calendars. This one, I just kind of like writing my daily things and I could look at it every single day. And this one has more of like my content planning in it where I can like transfer it over to here. But this one's just like everything. Let's get to work.
so I just got a few new pieces that are perfect for fall from Love Bonito. I would love to thank them for sponsoring this video. Love Bonito is on a mission to empower the everyday woman to express herself and feel confident through fashion. I personally love that so much because I have not always been super confident with my fashion sense and feeling comfortable in clothes is just so important to me. This month, Love Bonito is all about the layers and they're celebrating their Love Your Layers campaign. Love Your Layers is a celebration of the unique layers that collectively shape our identities. Love Bonito encourages you guys to share layers of yourself. So how I'm going to be doing this this month is kind of opening up to you guys and showing you different parts of my life and just kind of share more of my thoughts with you guys. I'm obsessed with the items that I got from them. Everything is such high quality. Cardigans and knits in the fall I feel like should be such a staple in everybody's wardrobe because they're so easy to mix and match, to pair with different things, and to layer. The workout set from them, I was so surprised with the amazing quality. I'm very, very picky about my workout clothes, but wow, the material is butter soft. What makes Love Bonito so unique and different from every other clothing brand, they have such a strong, empowering message behind them, and they actually care about what they're delivering to women, not only the physical items, but also the meaning behind them. Layer up this season with Love Bonito. Go to the link in my description and use my promo code LBXBENTO for 15% off your order of $100 or more. guys i am just doing a light makeup today because i'm going to go see my friend lexi she works from home so sometimes we like to have like work dates together so i'm gonna go over to her place it's kind of nice just to like get out of the house and work sometimes even if it's like a cafe i, I just applied the summer fridays shade drops i like using these because they're 30 spf on days where i'm not going to be really outside but i still want protection really really love the summer fridays sunscreen it's so good and it feels like you have nothing on your skin i've been using this nyx concealer for ages now maybe not ages but like for the past year and if you guys ever want to shop my amazon recommendations i have an amazon storefront that you can see i have like a home section i have a makeup section fashion section so you can see products that i've bought and that i recommend it's always linked down below in my videos so if you want to check it out the link is there whenever i purchase something off amazon i try to link it in there this nyx concealer is so good and you can get it off amazon it's only like ten dollars and it's just like my favorite concealer ever because it's not too heavy it's not too thin it's like just the perfect coverage and i'm obsessed with it so this morning i didn't have a workout class booked because i've been only doing workouts monday wednesday friday and then tuesday thursday i have been aiming just to stretch and then i just have a really peaceful quiet morning so you guys saw did my meditation read my book do my bone broth do my gratitude and then i just love stretching i just feel like it's important to have rest days in between your workouts depending on like what you're working but in my meditation today it really focused on being and living in the present moment and this is something that i've talked about on my channel before but just a reminder you guys there's this quote in the meditation that said don't let your past paint your future and it's so true because I just feel like 90% of our thoughts we're thinking in the past, we're thinking of the future. But when are we ever just sitting and enjoying the present moment regardless of what we have to do tomorrow, regardless of what we're stressing about that we have to do later that night? And we have nothing but the present moment. Like nothing is real but the present moment. The past is already gone, like that doesn't exist anymore. The future doesn't even exist yet, but we spend most of our time in the past and in the future. When do we actually ever just let go and enjoy the present? And that's why I love meditation so much because it really just trains your brain to think in the present and to just really 
be in the present and follow your breath and just like be in the moment no matter what you did in the past that does not depict how your future is gonna go and no matter what regrets you have just let them go because nothing matters like the past doesn't exist anymore and the only thing that you have right now in this moment is this present moment that's the only thing that's real so if you think about it that way it's like really crazy and stupid how we always worry about other time zones and timelines that don't even exist and yes it's important to like manifest good things for your future and all of that obviously but if you want to do that you can't be stressing you can't be stressing about what's going to happen in the future you can't be stressing about what's going to happen in the past i just use the summer fridays blush i love their blush so much i just take it with my finger apply it super easy and natural and i love this color pink skies and i just feel like in order to live a happy and positive lifestyle your mindset is everything going in with the charlotte tilbury push up lashes mascara honestly the, when i feel my best is when i'm just riding the wave and what i mean about riding the wave is just going about my day and going about my life and just knowing everything is going to work out for me no matter what the universe blesses me with abundance and love and light and happiness whatever happens happens for a reason and to perceive nothing as negative and also to perceive nothing as really positive either just kind of know that everything happens for a reason and that's it at the end of the day we always differentiate things between positive and negative but really positive and ne negative doesn't really exist because whatever happens to you in your life is happening for a reason and it's happening for you so you don't need to really label anything but whenever i ride the wave and i don't worry about anything i just really do my thing do what makes me happy and just know everything will work out that's when i feel like most like myself that's when i feel most in alignment that's when i always see the most angel numbers and i get signs because you're just going with the flow but anyway so that is it for my makeup today didn't really do much at all but just put myself together a little bit i'm just gonna get dressed out of my pajama shorts and put on an outfit to go to Lexi's. I'm just about to leave the house, but I just threw on sweatpants because I want to be comfortable. And then I'm just wearing this little tank top with this sweater that I thrifted. And then also the purse that I thrifted. So yeah, just gonna grab my water bottle and then head out. I'm just driving. I have the camera like in the middle of my steering wheel right now, which is kind of cool. But I was just having this really weird thought. Can you believe that once our world was just trees and all these highways that we drive every day, they're all man-made? Somebody had to build, somebody had to plan these highways and they were built highway by highway, road by road. Like everything wasn't just placed here. Like people actually built this shit. Like isn't that crazy? It's like dawns upon me. When I'm driving, I'm like, wow, like look at this highway and how big it is. And somebody made this somebody planned this somebody actually made it just like so many weird realizations that i have sometimes everybody like my friends always joke that i'm like permanently high but like i don't even smoke i'm completely sober never smoke and i my body just naturally has high thoughts like this one i think my brain is just altered a little bit different than the average person sometimes my brain like functions and goes in certain directions that like the average person's brain doesn't go there you know what i mean also at what point in the fall do the trees actually start turning orange because i can't really remember like when that happens but i feel like it might be like the end of september let me know down below when the trees start turning orange because i can't wait for that today is such fall vibes it's gloomy it's drizzling a bit and i'm here for it i'm so here for the coziness of fall let me know what kind of fall content you guys want to see comment down below any video ideas i'm definitely gonna do like a fall morning routine but comment down below if you can think of any fun fall vlogs that you guys want to see because i'm down for the fall content oh my goodness you guys so i made this brownie when i got home today and if you're gonna make any one of the recipes i suggest make this i will link it down below but it's vegan and dairy free and i used coconut sugar coconut oil dairy free chocolate chips in it and i also put walnuts in it and oh my gosh you guys it is so amazing i'll have a link down below but i recommend if you guys are craving a brownie to make this recipe because it is amazing <laughs> and i literally just made it tonight and me and joel already ate half of it like we could not resist anyways just thought i'd let you guys know because it's so good and it's just fall vibe i'm just about to get ready for bed 
but I got an Amazon package in the mail, so I thought I would show you guys what I got. I got my tried and true Aquaphor in more of like a travel size because I have a huge tub of this and I use it every single day, but I need one to like carry in my purse have beside me on my night table bring with me around to travel with and i did have one but i used it all so i ordered this on amazon i'll link it down below but i put this stuff on my eczema on my lips just seriously everywhere and whenever i need it especially because the winter's coming up this is going to be so nice to have so in my last vlog i was talking to you guys about me wanting kind of like a kindle or to read on my ipad and i just downloaded a bunch of books onto my ipad so i'm really excited and now i can read in bed without waking joel up with a light or anything because i really have been getting in the habit of reading before bed instead of scrolling on my phone but since joel goes to bed before me i don't want to like turn the light on to read so on my ipad it's going to be perfect i'm so excited because i downloaded some self-growth books i have the power of your subconscious mind abundance by deepak chopra atomic habits and then for fiction i'm going to finish it starts with us by Carl colleen hoover and then i'm also going to get into verity after i finish that one by colleen hoover but in the mornings and during the day i like reading a self-growth book in the evenings before bed i love reading a fiction this is how my screen looks on the ipad and it's just perfect this is exactly what i wanted and now i'm gonna use my ipad more often so i'm really excited this is just the ipad mini by the way so it's perfect kind of book size so it's 8 30 right now and i actually have some laundry that i did on monday yeah i did the laundry yesterday and it's still in the dryer because i have this thing where i'll do my laundry and then i'll kind of just like forget about it in the dryer and it'll sit there for a few days and so i'm like wait i have things in the dryer so let's fold our laundry and then i'm gonna get ready for bed and then read in bed i go to bed at around 9 30 just so i can have like a full eight hours of sleep let's do some cleaning guys happy to oh no it's wednesday i keep mixing up the day it's happy wednesday it is hump day so it is the middle of the week we're halfway there and this is your motivation to do even better when it's towards the end of the week because the end is coming you're gonna get a break soon you're gonna get the weekend so push yourself to finish off the week strong because you will feel better than ever on the weekend if you do this it is currently around 6 40 and i'm gonna head into my workout now it's a power core class class at oxygen yoga and fitness and i'm ready to get my sweat on i'm so obsessed with oxygen yoga and fitness i don't know what i would do without them like i just feel my best and i feel like my whole body is getting toned and i'm so happy about it but i think it's gonna be a gloomy day today um i'm excited today because i'm going to the mall so i'll bring you guys along to that but yeah excited to get this workout done with honestly too <laughs> But it's gonna be good. It's gonna be fun. They're always so much fun because there's like music blasting. So got my little platform Ugg dupes on today to keep my feet nice and warm.
here is the mini grocery haul so i just got some paprika because we needed some then i got some baby spinach some salad i got some potatoes some zevias and then i got a bunch of carrots because i want to start eating more of them and making like carrot salads just because apparently it's really good for your hormones so I'm gonna start to incorporate more carrots in my diet and these are just organic baby mini carrots how cute are they these would be like super easy to just snack on then i got some bananas some chocolate chips these are dairy free and everything so they're like a healthier alternative and then i just got this can of coconut milk because i'm going to be making a pumpkin sauce for my coffee so we'll make that later but right now i'm just going to put this away and then make a smoothie <laughs> So I'm going to make the pumpkin spice sauce or syrup. I think it's called a sauce because I think in Starbucks drinks, they actually use like a pumpkin spice sauce in their pumpkin spice lattes. But anyways, I'm using coconut milk just because I'm not having dairy. So I'm going to make this vegan. But this recipe calls for one cup of condensed milk. So I'm just going to add a cup of coconut. The milk is kind of like when it does this thing, when it solidifies. So I just kind of, oops, I just kind of have to scoop her out. But it's all going to melt in the saucepan anyway, so it'll be melted. So the recipe actually calls for half a cup of brown sugar, but I'm going to be using coconut sugar just because it's a healthy alternative. And then it calls for one third cup of pumpkin puree. And then just half a cup of water. Now I'm just going to take a whisk and kind of just mix it all together as best as I can and then put it on medium to high heat on the stove. Now I'm just boiling this on medium to high heat just until it thickens. I think my sauce is a good consistency. I boiled it or simmered it for a while. Here's how the sauce turned out. As you can see, it's pretty thick. So how you use it is if you're making like an ice latte, you just like brew an espresso shot and then add the syrup into the espresso shot so it melts in. And I'm pretty sure you can use it in cold foam and stuff like that. So I'll let you guys know how it is. So much more syrup. Hey guys, so I'm with Madison and we're going shopping because we're going to a wedding soon and I need to find heels. So that's like the main priority for today. But I also want to get a couple things from Sephora, just some restocks. And I also want to just hit Aritzia and see what they have. And yeah, that's about it. It's a nice, it was a nice cloudy day and it was fall vibes, but then the sun came and out. And that's why we're both wearing our Uggs. We're both wearing sweatpants or well, I'm wearing sweatpants. She's wearing pants and we're both wearing Uggs because it was like gloomy this morning. Why am I mad that it's kind of getting hot now? It's just not the fall vibes. Like I'm craving the fall vibes and it's kind of hot now, which is like disappointing, but it's okay, we'll be indoors anyways, but I literally cozied up today and put like a this crew neck that I thrifted with soap pants. So anyways, we're gonna go shopping. so i just got back from the mall a few hours ago but i came home and made some dinner and then i had like a, just a lot of work to do so i was just at my computer but i did some damage at the mall i actually like needed quite a bit of things so we got a nice haul for you guys right now so let's start off with sephora so we went into london drugs and i needed like just a new face brush that i can use for like concealer or foundation or whatever it is because the elf one that i have it's shedding a lot and it just keep shedding and shedding i don't know if it's because of the way that i washed it but every time i use it i get hairs on my face and i can't use it anymore so i got this real techniques expert face brush and i'm really excited because real techniques is like a really good brush brand that they sell at the drugstore so i just got 
one brush and I'm really happy that they had it because I haven't been able to find it anywhere else from the drugstore as well I got this elf hydrating core lip shine in the shade joyful and I've been wanting to try these for a while but I haven't been able to find them because I guess they've just been sold out everywhere but they finally had them I will let you guys know how I like it but it's basically like a tinted shine gloss I don't know but apparently it's super light on your lips and you can just like apply it and you're ready to go so I don't really have a lip product like this and I'm so excited to try it out and then from sephora i just got the ordinary lash serum because i ran out of mine and i love using it i feel like it just makes my eyelashes grow really fast and strong and then i got the summer fridays lip balm i've actually never tried this before but i've been needing kind of a new lip balm so i'm like you know what i love summer fridays so why not try it and i just got it in vanilla but people actually rave about this so i'm really excited try it and i'll let you guys know how this is as well but i just needed like an everyday lip balm i didn't really have one so that is my little makeup haul and then really random me and madison went into forever 21 i haven't been in that store in like years because they have just fell off planet earth but we're like let's just like go check inside for fun to see what there is it was just right across from maritzia and i actually found something you guys i was so surprised okay 99 of everything in there was just horrible honestly like i don't know what happened to forever 21 but they have gone so downhill i feel like they used to be so good i used to shop there all the time years ago but whoever designs their clothing and whoever runs that store needs to be fired because they have just gone so downhill but anyways one out of the two only good things i found in the store was this knit cardigan and it's kind of like a cropped cardigan so i don't know if you can tell the vibes but it's kind of like over the shoulder and it goes like I don't know it's just super slouchy cute and comfortable and it's perfect for the fall so i picked this up and then random enough in forever 21 i stumbled upon this reebok bag and they did a collab with forever 21 and i have been looking for just like a little gym bag that i can put like my water bottle and like my things in when i go to the gym but this is so perfect and it comes with like a longer strap that you can put on as well but it's such a cute little tote it's just perfect size just what i wanted a little cute gym bag and i feel like i'm just gonna get so much use out of this it's adorable i love how there's like a short and then a long strap that i could attach but i'm obsessed with it and then i also picked up at london drugs this thera breath fresh breath um, mouthwash this is the best mouthwash all natural and it does such a good job i ran out so i needed to restock last but not least i went to call it spring i'm going to a wedding soon so i needed heels for my dress because i haven't bought new heels and like i don't even remember the last time because i never really go to any occasion that i would need heels for but i got these really really cute black closed toe cute heels and i think that they're so cute i was gonna get a different color that was a little bit more out there but i was like wait like i don't really even have a pair of black staple heels so i better just stick to the basics so i can rewear these in the future love them but yeah that's my little mall haul this girl complimented my outfit today at the mall and it was just like the sweetest thing ever and it just goes to show like how far a compliment can go in somebody's day like it was just so nice and i'm still thinking about it so i'm like wow that was so nice so if you ever have the chance to compliment somebody in public or random stranger do it because you never know how much they need that compliment you know so that's something i kind of want to work on is like complimenting more people because i always say stuff in my head like oh i love that girl's hair i love that girl's shirt but i never say it you know but the fact that she just came up to me, she's like, I love your outfit. I'm like, thank you so much. Like, that is so sweet. But yeah, so this is your sign to go compliment somebody if it's kind of out of your nature because definitely out of my comfort zone, but I want to start doing it more. But anyway, I'm going to go read in bed now on my iPad, get ready for bed, wash my face. I'm tired and it is about like 8.30 right now. So I'm going to wind down for the night. <laughs>
guys so i had such a good nice relaxing morning i kind of just meditated read and stretched because i didn't have a workout so my body was recovering but me and joel are just about to head out the house we have a couple of errands to run i need to return some things and we're also going to see joel's mom because it was her birthday last week so we're gonna go spend some time with her and drop some things off for her yeah it's kind of hot today it's like 22 degrees so i have this sweater that this is the one that i got yesterday and then i have on biker shorts because the weather's kind of like an awkward temperature so i can always like take my sweater off and then i'm just wearing this basic tee from white box and then the purse that i thrifted so um, yeah i'll update you guys um when we're in the car are just on the way home now we stopped by at his parents house for we were there for like three hours so we dropped off her birthday gifts i baked her some brownies the ultimate brownie recipe that i showed you guys a few days ago or whenever that was i'm gonna bake them again either tonight or tomorrow but they're so good and i hope that she enjoys them but anyway so yeah it was nice seeing his parents and now we're just heading home we're kind of just stuck in traffic because it's around five o'clock but we're gonna go home make some dinner i know i didn't really get much content today because there was just nothing to film but you get it so i'm just gonna cook up this chipotle and maple syrup chicken they're just skewers but i'm gonna honestly just take them off of the skewers and cook them on the pan yeah probably gonna pop some rice in and then just make a salad just a simple easy dinner because i don't really feel like cooking <laughs> Here's our dinner tonight. I just put a bone broth in the rice. So we got some flavored rice and then we got some chicken grilling that's basically done now. And then I just made a salad with shredded carrot inside. So a little quick, easy dinner. So I just got in my pajamas and I'm just gonna start getting ready for bed now. I made some brownies again because I'm obsessed. And then I just kind of watched Gossip Girl for a couple of hours. For some reason, I'm just so tired today. But tomorrow is Friday, thank God, because I just feel like this week has felt like so long, but so short at the same time. But I'm excited for the weekend. I'm obsessed with this orange little lamp that we have in the bathroom. Our bathroom lights, like the mirrors light up and then the center lights up and it's so bright in here. It's like really good lighting if you're trying to actually like, you know, need to look at yourself. But at night, oh my gosh, like there's not even a setting where you can like dim the lights so bright that i hate it so that's why i put like a little orange lamp in here and it's perfect for like when i'm getting ready for bed because when i'm getting ready for bed i don't want like bright lights in my face so this is like sets the perfect vibe and then during the day the window gives us enough light in here that we don't need to use the lights anyways because i like like i prefer natural lighting obviously but especially in the morning okay, for some reason when i wake up i cannot see a bright light i it will just anger me i don't know why but i just get so angered if i wake up early and somebody turns on a bright light back in high school my mom used to wake us up she would turn on the light in the, our room oh my god like i think it's ptsd from that i just hate being woken up by like a bright light so whenever i wake up and i come into the bathroom to like you know brush my teeth and everything i turn this orange light on there's no way i'm turning these bright vanity mirror lights on oh my gosh i think i would actually cry in the morning and also it's like scientifically proven that before bed you shouldn't be looking at any sort of like bright light especially like your phone screen because it keeps you awake it basically like tells your brain that it's daytime that's why people say like, if you want to have like a better sleep you should be going on your phone before bed and in the morning it's funny because you're actually supposed to look at a bright light first thing like they make like these uv lights that you're supposed to like put in your face in the morning to wake yourself up and i can't like i need to ease myself into it in the morning i am not naturally a morning person ever since i was a baby i have just like leaned for sleep my mom said i was just always the best sleeper and she's been like that since i was younger like i've always been such a good sleeper and it's carried on to my older years where i just need my sleep that's why getting eight hours is so important to me because as long as i get that i'll survive i'm fine but no bright lights for me in the morning thank you very much and it's kind of funny because joel is the opposite like he comes in here in the morning and he turns on the vanity lights and i'm like well, what are you doing like he's here at 3 a.m with the vanity lights on and i'm sleeping in bed and i can kind of see the light peeking through the bathroom door and even that makes me mad that makes me mad and i'm like can you turn the light off like what are you doing at 3 a.m in the morning but he's just kind of funny because 
wear the opposite and like you'll take a shower and have these lights on and i'm like no like i need to set the vibe at night and put like my little light on i've been using actually i'm almost done i didn't even realize how far i've gone through this so this is the palmer skin therapy cleansing oil and i've been using this as kind of a face wash after i use micellar water i've been putting this on to cleanse my face just because whenever i have my zima flares if i use face wash like even my sarah v face wash this one that doesn't have it even like any fragrance or scent to it it like kind of burns my eczema so i have to use something more gentle so the cleansing oil is like perfect because it doesn't irritate my skin at all but it still like washes my face so if you guys have sensitive skin i would definitely recommend getting like a cleansing oil and using that because i just haven't been able to really use face wash recently and i'm kind of having a flare up right now so but what you're supposed to do with cleansing oil is kind of let it sit on your face for a couple minutes before you wash it off so what i do is i'll put it on you know rub it in and then i'll brush my teeth and then wash it off so i just wash my face and brush my teeth but i haven't really been able to do much skincare at night because my eczema on my face it burns like any type of skincare i put on it burns my skin so i've been doing like the most minimal skincare routine recently which is fine it's just what has to be done right now but i have been using good molecules nice and my brightening toner this has been honestly pretty fine with my skin i just put on a bit of it because I saw this TikTok and it was this esthetician and she was basically saying how toner, like if you're going to do one thing in your skin, nighttime skincare routine or just in general, it should be toner. And she said it's a step that so many people skip, but it makes the biggest difference. Just to even out your skin, discoloration and all that. So I've been making sure ever since I saw that video to apply my toner. I only have been using it for like the past like week or so so i can't tell you what kind of results but i know good molecules is like a really good affordable skincare brand so i would recommend checking them out but i just apply that pat it into my face and then while i let that sit i just floss i just saw lauren geraldo posted her video that she had that she had her baby i'm so happy for her i have been watching her since she was on vine but it's just so crazy that she's only like i feel like a few maybe a couple years older than me but it's just crazy how i feel like so many people like around my my age now like i'm 23 so many people have just been getting engaged have been getting married have been getting pregnant and i'm like whoa i guess i'm at that age now where this stuff can actually happen and it's so weird to me people that i follow people that i know of like people from high school like this is all happening this is the age where things like that happen and it's crazy because i don't even feel old at all i thought that like being in your 20s was so old and like you're like real adult and so mature and all this but it's like i feel young as ever like in the best way though when i look at myself back when i was like 18 19 i was literally a child but i felt like i was old then you know what i mean so now i'm just gonna go in with the drunk elephant polypeptide cream and i'm just gonna be adding some of their luxury facial oil onto it and just mix that in just to give myself a little bit extra hydration just a couple drops but if you're listening to this right now, comment down below your age, what you do, like, are you in school? Are you working? Are you a mom? I'm just curious, like, who watches my videos? I feel like I'm at, like, an age where I can connect with older people, and I can also, like, connect with my people my age or, like, younger. So now I'm just going to take this Eucerin cream, and this is, like, a really heavy, heavy, heavy duty cream. Like, she's thick and i'm just going to put it kind of over top just where i have my eczema i'm also getting my period soon to be honest my period has been so weird ever since i got my iud it's just i don't even know i don't even bother to track it anymore because it's just so out of whack but my period comes are so much better than they were which is the reason why i even got it in the first place but i was having like stabbing pains today and it wasn't fun but i can't complain because it's a lot better than what i used to get more manageable i'm gonna take the squash off just like quickly go along my jaw here i don't even know how to properly do this so please don't follow anything that i'm saying right now but i think you just kind of go up and then drain it down feel free to let me know if i'm doing this completely wrong but i just do a couple swipes just so you know i don't know if it actually does anything but just in case it does now i'm just gonna go in with the ordinary lash serum and just apply it to my lash line 
basically the last thing that i've been doing before bed is applying aquaphor everywhere because my eczema is back baby and sometimes what i do is i'll i have castor oil and i'll like mix aquaphor and castor oil put some oil in there and mix it all up and slug with it my skin is so dry from my eczema so i just kind of put it everywhere where have eczema and where i'm itchy also my eyelids and through my eyebrows because castor oil also helps with hair growth so i just like kind of like putting it on my eyelids because i get eczema here and then i'll run it through my eyebrows just in case it'll ever help them stay voluminous but that is about it over my lips but yeah that is my skincare routine right now it's not that exciting not that fun because i am working around my eczema but if you guys have sensitive skin, I guess this can maybe be helpful. Castor oil is also supposed to be good for like dry and skin and eczema, by the way. So would recommend. I'll have one linked down below. But yeah, now I'm just going to go read in bed for what time is it? Even? It's 8:45, so I'm gonna be reading in bed for just a little bit over half an hour and settle down for the night. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning. I have a class at seven, so see you bright and early for friday good night Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday. I am on top of the moon. I just feel like I'm so excited to rest for the weekend. This week has been great. I got a lot of work done this week. I was super productive. I'm just about to go into my oxygen yoga and fitness class. If you guys have one near you, you should definitely sign up because it is the best and it holds you accountable and i just feel amazing afterwards especially friday workouts you just hit different oh my gosh i just realized i forgot to put deodorant on okay there's guys walking by mm, i can't do this for some reason i have been dreaming so much this week like i don't know why maybe it's like my hormones or something but every single night i've been having like these crazy dreams and multiple dreams when i usually like don't remember my dream or I just it's nothing crazy but like I've been having these crazy like vivid dreams this past week and it's been so weird so let me know if you guys know like what that could be I guess I can google it but weird right like I don't know what it is this is your sign to get your Friday workout in and don't skip it I know it's hard near the end of the week but you got this this is your motivation and yeah i have my new gym bag packed today i love it so much it's so cute and just like perfect size so i'm happy about that but let's go get our sweat on and do this workout <laughs> of a break from editing and i made this carrot salad it's apparently supposed to be really good for your hormones like carrots in general so i just added vinegar olive oil salt and pepper and it's actually really good you just have to peel the carrot into it it's super easy and healthy to make just as like a perfect little snack so i'm just gonna eat this break time <laughs> Thank you. 